So a couple of years ago I painted the mirror caps of my own car and now a couple of weeks ago I got an email from a fan asking if I could paint his mirror caps as well. I figured why not, it's an easy job to do, a quick one to pull out and he would be really happy with it. He pretty much gave me free reign on which color to choose, uh, just going in a couple of directions and I came out with the one I did, you'll see later on in the video. Now the preparation is pretty much straightforward. These were unpainted bare plastic mirror caps from the factory. They had a sort of gritty plasticky finish on it. So I sanded it out with 180 grit for a while, then added three coats of primer and then re-sanded it again to go another coat of primer. After this first coat was finished, I let it dry for about 5 minutes, moved on to the second, let that dry for 5 minutes and moved on to the third, and so on. After applying that third coat, I let it dry for a good couple of hours at room temperature and then started sanding it down again with 180 grit to get rid of even more of that gritty finish that they came in and to smoothen it out basically. Pretty much all of the primers sanded off again, I just gave them a quick wash in some water, dry them up and moved on to applying another couple of coats of primer. Again three coats waiting five minutes in between each coat, getting a good thick coverage.
and again after that third coat of primer was applied I let it dry for a good couple of hours at room temperature and then I started sanding it smooth with some 1200 grit sandpaper to prepare it for the color next on. With the part now all the way nice and smooth, I used a tack cloth to get rid of any of the dust and particles that might have fallen onto it and then moved on to applying the base color which is a champagne gold. Just like the primer, after every coat, just to let it dry for about five minutes and move on to the second and even third coat. After finishing off this third coat of champagne gold, I let it dry for a good 30 to 60 minutes at room temperature again to then move on to a candy gold pearl coat on top of that to make it really pop out.
So after finishing off this third coat, you might think I would let it dry for five minutes and move on to the second coat. Well, in this case with the candies, you should let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes as these coats are a bit thicker and tend to need some more time to dry before you could move on to the second coat. So 10 to 15 minutes and then move on to the second and third coat if you wish to do so. After applying this second coat, I was pretty much satisfied with the way the color came out. So I set it aside for a good two hours before moving on to clear coat. Then just adding three coats of clear, very thick as this is going to be used in the real world and it needs some more protection than on a scale model. So don't hesitate to go a bit thicker, but keep in mind to not go too thick as you will create runs. Just like on the models, just let it dry for about five minutes in between coats and move on.
with the third and final coat applied, I just cleaned out the airbrush, set the parts aside for two to three days to dry at room temperature, and then sent them back to the client. And he sent me a picture of the car, and I think it looks pretty darn cool on this little car. So that's it for this one. See you guys next time.